everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here with a wig review. I'm here to bring you a brand new style from Raquel Welch for 2022. This is called Untold Story, and I have this one in the color SS Iced Cafe Latte, which is RL9 slash 24SS. Untold Story is this style. This is a fully, nearly fully hand tied cap. Super cute style. Stick around if you'd like to know more about it. All right, everyone, I am so excited to show you this brand new style, but before I do, I want to tell you that I am partnering with Name Brand Wigs to bring this brand new style to you. They did send this one to me so that I could review it. Please check them out at namebrandwigs.com. They have such a great website. They've got lots of support. They have a great customer service team. They have a blog. They have education and often offer great sales. So please, please check them out. And if you call them to place an order, if there's the availability of an extra discount on a wig, they will give it to you over the phone. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for some good pricing, maybe give them a call and see if they can do something a little bit more for you on a purchase. I've heard that can happen sometimes. I can't promise anything, but I am so grateful to be a partner with them. So please check them out. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do that so that you don't miss any videos. I release not only reviews, but I do education and I do wig chats and I just do a lot to try to help my wig sisters on this journey. So I'd love it if you join me and go ahead and subscribe, but definitely make sure you like this video and comment on it if you found it helpful at all. All right, all that's out of the way. Let's talk about the wig. Let me show you this style from all sides. I've been playing with her a lot. So hopefully she's not too messy right now. Now this back is super bouncy. Take a look at how bouncy the back is. Now this is a fully hand tied cap. Let me grab my comb here and so you can see her as she's combed down. Alright, so this is a fully hand tied cap. So when you're outside, if the wind is blowing, you, first of all, this is just going to look better the more it gets messed up. But you are not going to have to worry about anybody seeing any wefting back here. Between the amount of hair, which is a, I would say this is a moderate to high density piece. There's a lot of hair on this. And the hand tied cap, you are really never, nobody's ever going to know that you have a wig on. So if that's something you're really worried about, consider a wig like this that has a good amount of hair and a hand tied cap because then, I mean, you can run your hands through it as much as you want and you're really not going to worry about giving away that you have a wig on your head. It's awesome. So let me give you my general impressions. First of all, this wig feels amazing. The fibers feel amazing. These are heat friendly fibers and so you can take heat to them and they have just a little bit more of a sort of a realistic look to them because they're, they don't have any of that synthetic shine that you sometimes get from other wigs. And when you run your hands through these, they just sort of, they've got a little bit more of a substantial vault weight to them and that really makes it so it moves naturally and lays quite naturally. So I really like that. This wig does have a lot of flippies as you are noticing. I'm sure you saw them in the back. The, the way that they've cut this is you've got some layers but then you've got like this top layer here and then you uh, the underside is a bit of a longer layer which causes it to flip up a little bit. If you don't like flippies on wigs, one thing you can do is you can take a hot airbrush to this one, especially because it is heat friendly. You don't really have to worry about using super low heat, but you can take a hot airbrush and you can use the hot airbrush to sort of comb under and try to redirect these fibers so they're not quite as flippy as they want to be right now out of the box. So keep that in mind. If you do get a wig like this and you're just not so sure about the flippies, you will be able to remedy that with a little bit of heat. Now, this piece fits me great. I would say this runs very average, true to average. 
Um, Sometimes I've heard that Raquel Welch hand tied caps can run a little bit smaller. I'm not finding that to be the case with this one at all. It fits me really typical average Raquel Welch. I have a little bit of extra cap up here, but not a ton. So I don't feel like I have a cone head or any tremendous extra amount up here. And I'm getting awesome coverage from this one. You really can't see my bio hair like the, I buzz it so you don't see a ton of it, but sometimes you can see a little bit of that like right here because I have a little bit of a lower hairline, but because of the coverage I get and the fact that they sewed this hair down like this, I get excellent coverage with this one. So when I tuck it, I really feel like it tucks great and you can't, and I'm not super worried about seeing the contrasting bio hair right there. So this is fitting me really, really well. And as you can see, it tucks beautifully. You can tuck both sides. You can tuck one side. It's a great tucking wig if you'd like to tuck. It also has some really good stretch. So if you're thinking you've got a little bit of a bigger circumference than I do, I have a 22 inch circumference and I can, and all my measurements are down below in the description box, but this one has some good stretch. So between a good stretch and a good, uh, you know, a, a good average cap, I would say that this is going to fit a wide range of people. But if you are sort of getting up toward the average large measurements at 22 and a half, I think you're going to fit this just fine. If you are a more of a petite measurement though, um, you know, this is, this is going to, you're going to have, you can cinch it in and everything, but I would say that, you know, the hard thing with a hand tied cap is you really can't like sew a couple of wefts together easily in order to make it fit a more petite head. So I would say this is great for the whole range of average, heading toward average large, heading toward average petite, I think it really is going to fit a wide variety of people for sure. Let's take a look at this lace front before I take the cap off. So there's your lace front. Look at how undetectable that is. It is amazing. Now, they took all the blonde color and put it all up at the front all the way around. So as you can see on me, this color, and we're gonna to get to the color in a second, is billed as a little bit of a darker color. It does say dark brown with some medium browns, but because of how heavy handed they were on this blonde, I would say if you're a brunette, you're going to feel like you have a blonde wig on. And I would have been overwhelmed by this color you know, two years ago when I was wearing all dark browns and I wasn't wearing, wearing very heavily highlighted wigs, all the highlights are in the front. So it makes for a great lace front, but it also makes this wig feel and look a lot lighter than it maybe really is when you consider all of the brown that's in it. So keep that in mind, but that lace front is impeccable. Raquel Welch makes like the best lace fronts, especially when they use blondes. They just do such a good job. It's very, very realistic looking. I wore a shaded biscuit wig yesterday out with some friends. And I mean, they were, they were right up against me like this and they could not see the lace. You have a full mono top on this one. So you can part it anywhere you want to part it. It does come wanting to part from the left to the right like a typical mono part wig, but because this is a full mono top, you can change that. Let's take a look at this cap. Now there's no permatease on this because it is a hand tied cap. There's, it's a very rare thing if you would get permatease on a hand tied cap. I know it's happened. I don't think Raquel Welch does that though. So you've got your full lace front and it goes all the way temple to temple. So you've got all this parting space. Sometimes you'll see lace fronts that end like right there. That can be a challenge if you're going to do a lot of styling. This one's going to give you a lot of flexibility. Soft bendable stays inside these, or I'm sorry, soft ear tabs with the bendable stays inside. All of that on the top is monofilament so that you can part it anywhere you want, do a variety of styles with that. You have an extended nape. Velcro adjusters, and then all of this is the hand tied section. You have a little bit of closed wefting on the bottom that's really become common with hand tied wigs. It does help that nape to lay a little bit better, a little bit flatter, and protects it from, you know, any significant tangles. So that is one of the, that's the reason why they do it. But the rest of this cap is hand tied. So let's take a look at the back of the cap. Those are my fingers poking through. Well, not poking through, but you can see them through. That is what a hand tied cap will do. It will give you the appearance of scalp. Now, if you've got dark hair underneath, 
um, it will kind of depend on the color of hair that you, the hair you get here, how much that shows through. But if you wanted to wear a flesh colored cap underneath, that would really give it an appearance of scalp. And then all the hair just looks like it's growing out of your scalp. So hand tied gives a variety of wonderful benefits, one of which is more natural movement of all the fibers out in wind, disguising the cap so that you can't see wefts and you can't tell that you have a cap on, and styling. Now, this wig doesn't have a ton of length, so you're not gonna do a lot of elaborate styling with it, but because it has the hand-tied cap, let's run a comb through this again, then you are going to be able to do a variety of styles and it's going to look really natural and realistic. One style that, first of all, I love my just twists and clips. You can take and put a clip in and twist and kind of change the look. But one thing that I think would be so cute with this, now I'm not going to be able to do much of this because I'm just going to end up pulling it off my head here. I don't have it adhered and it just wants to slide around. But if you wanted to take and pull some of the hair back and put it in either a half up, half down, or all of it into a low pony, and then just leave a little bit of hair hanging in the front here, you can totally do that with this. Now, again, you can really see how heavy handed they were with that blonde um, because of when you pull it all back like that. And this is not perfect, you guys. I'm just trying to give you an idea. But you see, there is enough length here to get a little bit of a ponytail back there. And then you just make sure you pull it down. You may need to pull a few little wispies out at the sides just to hide the cap. But this could be a great wig to wear in a low pony in the summer. And, you know, it's not super long. It just gives you a lot of flexibility. So kind of consider the fact that a hand-tied wig like this is going to give you a lot of styling flexibility. It's going to be really great. Okay, let's talk about color. And then we'll get outside. Can you guys see, though, just as I play with her, how just polished this looks, professional, but yet not kind of stuffy, and how the fibers like to respond to being played with. I mean, look at how cute that looks right now, and that's just because I've been running my hands through it like crazy and playing with it, and already these flippies are starting to tame because I'm constantly playing with it. That is one of the tremendous benefits of heat-friendly fibers is they do, they're very malleable, and they do respond well to being played with and, and constantly, and even what I've done here is just constantly doing this, now I've got it so it's up off my face a lot more. I didn't have to take any heat to it, so really great. But before I actually talk about colors, just talk about bangs real quick. If you wanted to cut bangs into this one, you can. They're a little long, obviously, but you could cut bangs in. The thing to keep in mind, because this has a lace front, and because it already comes with just a little bit of lift off that lace front, you may find that you're going to need to take heat to it to sort of settle the bangs down so they'll lay right. But I definitely think you can cut bangs into this one. All right, let's talk about this color. RL9 slash 24 SS. In the Raquel Welch line, if a wig comes with the code RL in the front of the color, that means that it's a heat-friendly fiber. All of their wigs, um, if, you, if they have both heat friendly and non heat friendly, if it says RL in the front, then it's heat friendly. Let's look at this color. I've already shown you how incredibly light this front is, but there it is just so dynamic. So much going on with the highlights, highlights, low lights, brunette. I would say this is a neutral to ashy color. I really don't see warmth in this color, but it isn't overly ashy. Um, I do think that if you are going gray, this could be a great color for you. There isn't gray in it, but it sort of gives you the sense of somebody who's, you know, their hair is, is quite ashy. And so I, when I look at myself in the mirror and when I've kind of looked in different mirrors and looked outside at this color, I have a mirror right here. It does kind of give me the impression that there's no warmth and that it could be good for someone going gray, but isn't ready to be gray, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's take a look at this color up close. Now, 
nine is the first color. That's the base color. There is no nine on the color chart. So nine is actually a blend between a couple of different brunettes. This is, a, I would consider it a kind of a, a medium to light brown. There's multiple tones of brown in here though. They have so heavily highlighted it with blonde. The 24 is a golden blonde. This is quite a light brown. It does have a root, but that root is very nice. Very shallow, small, not deep, and it blends so well with the rest of the brown on here. It almost doesn't look rooted. And so lots of dynamic color, but lots of blonde in here. If you're a brunette and you don't wear a lot of heavily highlighted blondes yet, this is going to feel really light to you, especially the heavy hand they used in the front. If you're a blonde, this is probably going to feel dark to you because of all the brunette in here. So I just think this is one of those difficult colors to not only describe, but it's difficult to tell someone if they'll like it or not um, because it depends on your perspective and your experience. So all I can tell you is this is neutral to ashy, not super ashy. Somebody might think that there's a little bit of even some gray running through it, like some kind of real ash blonde in some lighting. And if you like super dynamic colors and like you don't mind looking like you went to a, a stylist and they went to town giving you all different kinds of tones and highlights and lowlights, then you're going to love this color. I really like this color a lot. I think it's super fun and I think it can look different depending on how you style it. If you want to play up the blonde, then do some styling that pulls that blonde off and kind of goes over some of that brunette and it's going to look a lot lighter. All right, everybody, let's get outside so you can see this color outside. Let me know what you think of this piece. I would consider this a bob with class and bounce and just a little bit of curl at the end. Round brush and then big giant rollers. That's what I see. All right, let's get outside. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. All right, everyone, here we are with Ice Cafe Latte. Bright sunlight outside. You can see the rooting. It's a great, cool, kind of highlighted brunette. There's definite blonde tones, but it's got a coolness to it. Almost looks gray in some light with some gray tones. I wouldn't say overall gray. But this should be giving you a great sense of this color, at least in sunlight. Get up kind of close here. All right, everyone, there you go. There's your look. Thank you.